My name is Courtney Starrett and this is the SIGGRAPH Studio. This year in the studio we have three different formats of content. We have our studio courses, we have our studio projects, which are hands-on, and then we have our studio talks, which are sessions that are held in another room up in the talks area. And this year in the studio we have probably about 14 different projects and about three or four different creative experiences. And so all of the projects have come in through the general submission process, so they're all reviewed content by the jury. And this year, that what's new is that we are actually doing combined booths with the emerging technologies. We have several that are crossing over, so they're exhibiting their technologies, their new technologies, and they're also hands-on in the studio, so you're able to interact with them in a more creative experience. And this year, we have lots and lots of brand new equipment, so we have donations from Roland and Epson and Universal Laser, and the Roland Company is debuting their brand new 3D printer that's never been shown before. We have a t-shirt printer over at the Creative Experience for 2D printing, and we have a t-shirt contest. We have an Arduino drawing machine contest that's very, very popular. We're hoping to get a lot of people in the studio that haven't been before through our crowdsourcing um, voting. So all of the attendees that have the app will be able to um, choose their favorite drawing machine and rate that. And the winners um, of the drawing machine contest can win anything from a Wacom Cintiq 22HD to an Epson R3000 um, printer and also even a, a 2015 full conference pass to the conference next year. This year, all three of our format types for content came through the general submission process, which is new for us this year. Our courses were reviewed at the same standards of all the courses that are conference-wide, um, which are usually the most prestigious of our, our format types here at SIGGRAPH. And so the studio courses that are available are at the same caliber, but because we're at a different registration level, they're more available, so that's kind of cool. And our talks this year are really exciting, um, and those all, all primarily came through the jury process, but then we also curated to kind of round out the studio content, and the type of content that we get is more hands-on, creative practice. This year in the studio, we are um, hoping to engage the attendees by having them visit the different projects and actually spend time with them. So you can see on the signs, a lot of them have um, given kind of an idea of how much time you can invest in this particular project. So they may range from five minutes to two and a half hours. And so an attendee from reading the sign can get an idea of that they can actually create something within a very short period. So hopefully they're not intimidated by um, coming in and so we encourage people to sit down, get their hands on something, engage with one of our subcommittee members, one of the contributors, or one of the student volunteers that's helping out with an area and actually um, experience. There's a lot of takeaways that you can create an original piece of art. If you visit three project areas and experience them, you get a stamps and you can turn that in for a raffle ticket for a chance to win one of the many donations that we had this year. In some way, that's one of our review criteria when we go through the jury process. Process. The jury's looking for an experience or project or contribution to the studio. There is some sort of takeaway, whether that be a file that's created of a drawing or whether that be an object itself. So a lot of our Arduino drawing machines um, that are created using Arduinos and continuous rotational servos, the equipment is available for purchase through a local um, electronic store, Lee's Electronics, but then you can also, if you're just wanting to borrow the Arduinos and the, the electronics, you can and then, of course, create some really amazingly beautiful drawings that you can take home. So there's kind of two options to take your machine um, or take the artwork. And the Epson's giving away the t-shirts, so if you come up with a t-shirt design, you actually get to walk away wearing your t-shirt if you'd like. So the fact that you can sit down, get your hands dirty, get your hands on something, make something that you've creatively contributed to um, based on somebody else's starting point or, or project idea, I think is what makes the studio so unique. Studio talks and courses are different. The courses specifically because we're teaching them in a 
computer lab. So they're very much hands-on rather than um, theoretical um, and lecture-based. So you can actually follow along with the instructor. We have TAs in the classrooms to kind of help answer questions as they come up. But they're making something, creating something, and following along um, using the computer lab, um, primarily, not exclusively. But the studio talks are usually based more on art. We had a theme in the studio this year, hack, tinker, make. And so when reviewing content, as long as anything kind of fit within that realm, um, it was very studio worthy. And uh, so those talks, like today in the talks venue, they're, the very first talk is art, form, and color. So there's talks that are kind of relating to those things. So anything creative, hands-on, community, installation. As long as attendees are engaging, having fun, and learning something, I feel that this is a success. And so I think so far after our first day, I'm finding that that's happening, so I'm thrilled. Um, and so I think that my, my vision for the studio this year and the amazing team that has helped to put it together is providing that experience, and that makes me happy.